What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Inkscape tutorial. So I just wanted to make a quick video talking about how I might think about creating like a flashlight shining on a table inside of Inkscape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so again, this is another kind of principles video. So I'm kind of talking about the way that we would create this type of light, I'm not necessarily trying to create a finished render as much as giving you an idea of the way that um, this would work if we were to try to create a render in here. So I have a very simple room right now. Um, I don't have any light coming in from the outside or anything like that. We literally just have a flashlight and a plane that's going to act as our table. And so if we load up Inkscape, what you're going to notice is as of right now, everything's going to look a little bit weird. So kind of overexposed. There's kind of some light leaking in here, stuff like that. So right now, Inkscape is trying to like auto expose this in order to give it some light so you can actually see what's going on. Well, we're going to go ahead and make some quick adjustments. So the first thing we want is we want to come in here and we want to add a light. And so in this case, we don't want a point light. We want a spotlight because that's basically what a flashlight is, is a light pointing in a certain direction. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into Inkscape objects, we're just gonna we're just gonna click on the button for spotlight. That's gonna allow us to place a light at this point. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna click again, then I'm just gonna adjust the way that this points, and I'm just gonna try to line this up so that it's coming straight out of this flashlight like this. So you can move this a little further away if you want to. We can kind of adjust this in a little bit, but I'm basically just trying to set this up so that it's creating a light that's shining out of the face of this flashlight. And so now if I go back into my render, you're gonna notice that things look a little bit different. First of all, depending on where I look, but also just depending on, so like, for example, if I'm in the location where this light source is, you'll notice that it's not trying to expose out and show any of this or anything like that. So what we have is we have this spotlight shining on the table. And you can see how the light is shining off of this material pretty good. It's got, it gives us a pretty good idea of the way that a flashlight's light would act. And so one thing to note about this, and I'm going to see, I don't think I can get this to stick to the top. There we go. So you can actually come in here and you can adjust the beam angle of this flashlight by clicking and dragging the slider. If you make it like super wide, you may have to come back in and make some changes over here on where exactly this is located inside of your model. But you can adjust how wide that is as well as how bright this light is. And it's a little annoying that it goes off of that, but you can adjust the brightness of this light by adjusting these sliders. And so one thing you're gonna notice about this though is even though you've got your light shining off of your table, which we may wanna set up our materials so that they reflect a little bit better. But one thing you're going to notice right now is this doesn't look very realistic because even though you've got your light shining out here, you don't have anything in here um, that actually looks like you have a light inside of your model. And so what we want to do is we want to apply a material to this face. So we want to go into our flashlight and probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to hide this Inkscape light for a second so I can actually get to my flashlight. But we're going to go in here and what we're going to do is we're going to apply a material to the glass face right here. So in this case, I'm just going to apply a color, like maybe a yellow or something like that. Something that kind of corresponds with the color of the light that you're trying to produce. And so as of right now, and I'm going to go back in and unhide my light in here in my outliner. So as of right now, that didn't really make a very big change, right? It just changed the color of this material. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're actually going to adjust the material settings inside of Inkscape. And I don't know, it won't stay on top of the screen. What we're going to do is we're going to select that color inside of SketchUp. So you can just use the eyedropper in order to sample that to select that color C02. Then you're just going to check the box for self-illumination. Well, what self-illumination is going to do is it's going to tell Inkscape that this material now needs to act as an emitter. So now if I bring this back up, what you're going to notice is when I fly around this now, that yellow material that's on that face is actually lit up. So now what we have in here is we have a flashlight that's actually shining off of the table. And one thing that you may notice about this is if I kind of turn this way, you're not really seeing the light shining off of this wall. And I think that's because of the exposure settings. So you are getting the light shining off of your table, but you're not necessarily getting shadows on the wall or anything like that. Well, part of the reason for that is because of your exposure settings. So if you go into your Inkscape settings like this,
you can see how you can actually adjust your exposure brightness of how bright your camera is going to be in here. And so you may also want to come in and adjust the intensity of this light. So you can see how the more you adjust the intensity of the light, the more shadows it casts. But you do need to be a little bit careful that you're not doing so much intensity that this looks washed out. So it's kind of this balancing act that you want to have in here where you want your intensity to be high enough to cast your shadows, but not so high that you look at this right here and it's just super, super, super bright. So you can just kind of mess around with your settings in here. And so the other thing you can do if you want to is you can also check the box for auto exposure and still adjust your exposure brightness. You can see how that gives you a little bit different result. So I could come in here and I could adjust my luminous intensity maybe down a little bit and my exposure brightness up or down as well to really kind of adjust the way that this light looks inside of your model depending on what you're trying to do. So super simple video, but I wanted to give you an idea of how to combine the emitter material and the spotlight inside of InScape to create a more realistic artificial light inside your models. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Um, did you like this tutorial? Have you been using InScape? I just love having that rendering conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.